Um, but yeah, no. So you're. Let's get into your one shots. Um, what? So I uh, I had mentioned to you backstage, and mm. uh, people who follow me on Instagram know, like I read Hyper Aware yeah. last year when it came out, and uh, man, I I seriously just like love that comic so much. Like Thank it you. was just to me, it was a complete one shot that still left you wanting more. Right. But like you just know you're getting the one, just the one story, you know. And like you know, hopefully, you know, maybe someday you can do another like five arc or five mm. issue arc uh, with those characters, um, or do five yeah. arcs, do five do yeah. five arcs, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, hyper aware. Um, that story was just so like, where where did that come from? I guess is my biggest question for you because, like I, I mentioned, like you're you're very diverse in what you write, and so hyper aware, we have kind of this uh lost in space like odyssey right. essentially yeah and man so like where did where did this concept come from that uh is pro it probably came from my um passion and um you know me in enjoying just uh, uh the dense um smart sci-fi um stories like um event horizon um mm. a, a little known one uh called sunshine um, not, um, not very many people know that one, but I know um, of it. I've never seen it, but it's um, somebody I know his favorite the director. Movies. I'm going to butcher his name. The same one from train spotting and oh, um, um, Dave, David, Danny, Danny Boyle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think Danny, Danny, Danny Boyle. Boyle. Yeah. yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. It, it, um, got uh, Killian Murphy in it. Chris Evans, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of, great but um yeah uh, and then like the aliens franchise and it's um you know the uh the, i've always been obsessed with um uh, hypersleep you know and how mm -hmm. it's kind of like a form of one directional uh time travel yeah uh, mm -hmm. and i wanted to tell kind of like a twilight zone outer limits black mirror type story that way mm -hmm. Even that um, though, just the hyper sleep, like that always takes me back to Planet of the Apes. Like yeah, you know, yeah. the intro to it, it's like, oh, hyper sleep failed these people and only right. this one person survived. But yeah. um, but yeah, like it was it did. Like I can I can see all of those uh movies and other influences just impacting this story, but mm. uh the dynamic between the three characters and then uh what's the 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 AI Algoron or Al Algernon? Al Algernon, yeah. Algernon, yeah. Algernon, yeah. Um, you know, a bit, a bit of a comic relief with the Algernon, but like, right. yeah, you have this love triangle between, I got their names here, Com Commander Granger, Specialist Jones, and First Officer Roya. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I just, I, I think, so some, something I try to be good at is rereading comics. Mm -hmm. And this is one I, I probably read it through it at least five times. And oh, awesome. You, when you came on, said that you'd come on to the show, I, I probably read it like three more times. In wow. Between. Oh, thank so. you. Yeah. Uh, a lot of kudos too to um, uh, Deborah Lanchanese. She's yeah. the, she did everything else uh, other um, besides writing that. She penciled, yeah. inked, colored, and, and lettered that in like a 30 day period because. That's crazy. Um, she she want, she's uh, wanted to enter a um, a contest in Italy. She's a, Italian, and um, you know she it, we her and I have been working on another series called Quicksand for a while, and she approached me for this contest and she said, Jonathan, if you give me a script, I'll I'll take care of everything. Um, you know uh, you don't have to pay me for anything, and then when it's done, you can have it have it and do whatever you want with it. Wow. So I was like, okay. I already have something in mind. Just give me a couple of weeks. I'll give you the script. Gave her the script, and like in thirty days, she put everything up. Oh, and she, it was uh, submitted to that contest, uh, translated in uh, Italy in Italian. So wow, she oh, she's, wow. she's lettered this book twice: once in Italian and once in uh, English. That's so, awesome. Uh, she submitted it to that contest. Uh, she won, by the way. She won uh, a drawing tablet. Um, Wow. And, uh, wow. Kudos how, to her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> She's fantastic. Um, uh, how did you get paired with her? So, uh, I hired her for, um, another book called quicksand a couple of years ago. And, um, I crowdfunded the uh, first three issues of that one. And, and she's just great. She's just, um, a very, it's like a, a Marvel, uh, trained artist that can use oh, produce wow. quality pages fast and, you know, accurate to what you're, Direct, you know, art direction is 
So yeah, and if she's taking care of all the art and the lettering and right. paper wear, it's just like that's at least three that hats was a gift. That she's wearing. And yeah. Uh, yeah, but some something Monk and I have chatted about before is just like letters are kind of the unsung hero of comics. Like, oh, for sure. They're, they're using another musical analogy. You know, they're the drummer. You know, they're in yeah. the back. Mm. They're keeping mm -hmm. the beat. You know, yeah. but without without them, you know, it, the whole book would be off rhythm. So, yeah, and I'm, something I'm I'm at, I pulled it up and I'm looking at it is I really appreciate letters that are willing to like use not just stick. They found a font they're going for, but there's right. different fonts in here. There's different. Yes. Uh, you know, it actually looks like it was written and not just like typed out or, or right. even if it was typed out it was it's very well put together in a way that yeah is used in right using them properly yeah like Al algernon has a different you know his dialogue boxes are different from the, the crew members you know because right. mm -hmm. he, he sounds different we need to know that he's coming from like the speakers and the you know from the walls of, of the ship yeah right now that like that's those are like those little things that I just really appreciate about going through a comic and just seeing how a letter like adjust the, the speech pattern of somebody but just by like maybe changing the dialogue box to yellow yeah. and putting right. squiggly lines instead of like the regular comic. Uh, yeah, it's a whole nother art form, you know, yeah. it, it really is. You know, it, it's taking graphic design to like a, a real, a real artistic way. You know, yeah. They, oh, yeah. All, all those letterers, they deserve their praise individually. Um, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, so hey. anybody who hasn't picked up Hyper Aware, like, please go pick it up. Like, yes. it, it's 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 a fantastic issue. It's point uh, source Source Point Press put it yeah. out. So Source Point Press. Yeah, it was still um, in the contest when I um, submitted it to Source Point Press uh, when I pitched it to them and we signed the contract before that contest was even over. And then we found out that it, it she won the, um, the contest. So I, you know, said, Hey, source point, oh, in case a, you want to, awesome. you know, put a little blurb that it's a, an award winning <laughs> comic right. book. Uh, yeah. So, so did, cool. did it also get put out then in Italy in Italian? Uh, no, um, it was only released um, online on that, um, contest website but in the you know, the italian version so you could read the italian version uh online but uh, oh, okay yeah so this was the only time it was out in uh, print and available in english yeah because that something i appreciate is um i'm trying to remember if it, i think it's a blaze comics they do a lot of bringing like importing yeah uh foreign comics into america and getting them right. into english and so it's yeah. just like we need it's, more of it's, that yeah and it's cool to kind of see yeah. It. like yeah it, it's gone the other way because mm -hmm. you have yours i believe um <laughs> cover the dead with lime is that originally written in spanish or is it in english it's in english no it's it's um boogeyman boogeyman mm -hmm. okay yeah and then also i uh just finished or not reading. Oh, yeah no, no that's right. it could boogeyman. be another one no it's boogeyman. Uh, I also finished reading uh, Nobody's Girls, and that was originally in Spanish, and then that got translated over into English. So yeah. yeah, it's it's really cool to be able to like why limit yourself when you have the ability to translate like that. Yeah, but that's cool. It's cool that yours is out there in Italian. Yeah, uh, if I could you. read Italian, I would totally <laughs> read it. Oh, um, <laughs> that's all I got. So.